Hello and welcome back to another episode here in my Let's Play. This is episode two, and last episode was pretty chaotic, but we did end up successfully building an iron farm right off the bat in this world, and this thing is very profitable. I haven't done much between episodes, so I haven't actually had this world loaded up for too long, and it's just making iron like crazy. Basically what I've done between episodes is obviously I've made some made armor because we're, we're rich and I've been chopping down some trees and I went to find some coal and whatnot just easily accessible on the surface. There's a little indention cave over there and I got some copper while I was grabbing the, the coal. Haven't done much but one thing I did do while I was out here looking around is I came just over this hill and check this out guys right over this hill do you see what I've spotted and check it out Optifine's good I got zoom we have a cherry grove right over there so that's what I, I want to get over there and have a look around I haven't left this area here I was saving it for a video and oh my god I, how did I miss that look at that all right, that's cool. We might have to explore that at some point. Probably not today, but definitely at some point. So what I think I want to do is I want to grab some stuff and head over towards that cherry grove and see if it looks like it's good enough to to set up camp in. Because I want to get a starter house down. I don't want to live here. I don't want to live here in this village. This is just where our iron farm is. We might build some up other farms that are nice in the spawn chunks up and around in this area. But I definitely don't want to live here. I, I, I want to see what that looks like and possibly build something up there for us to get established in. So I'm going to gather up some iron and some other things out of that chest and we're going to head over there and I'll meet you there. Okay, I think that should do it. So we're going to close that up and we're going to head on an adventure. Let's go see what this cherry grove is all about. Oh my gosh, are you kidding me? There's another village right here. What? So that's, our village is right there. And this village is right here. That, <laughs> I've never seen villages that close together or this close to spawn ever. Okay. Um, yeah, we'll check that out in just a minute. I still want to get over to this cherry grove. Never thought I'd be so excited to see pink trees. Oh, we got bees. I'm going to look for a spot that looks like a good home spot. And then I need to do what I probably should have done last episode and go find some actual... Oh, wow, this. Look at this. Now we're talking. Okay. It's a bit more of an accessible type cave. All right. I think we can work with this. All right. I need to get down into a cave. More bees, there's so many bees. Okay, all right, yeah. Yeah, we're definitely doing something here, for sure. Minecraft is so cool nowadays. This is, I'm, I'm really looking forward to this update coming out in like its full glory. But anyway, I'm going to set up a little camp spot and then get ready to head down into the caves and I need some deep slate and, you know, usual stuff and hopefully maybe get lucky and run into some diamonds, but mostly I just need to mine up a whole bunch of deep slate. So I brought a stack of iron blocks <laughs> with me so we can make as many tools as we need in this process. And yeah, this is gonna be cool. All right, let me get this set and I'll meet you guys down inside that cavern over there. Actually, I just realized before I head down there, I should probably get some more food. Because once we get down in that cave, I don't want to get stuck without anything to eat. So we headed over to this village. We're going to have a look around, steal these hay bales, make us some bread. See if there's anything, any good loot to be had in here. And then we will go caving. Okay, that was fruitful. Got some emeralds, a over a stack of wheat bales, and a couple other workstation items and now we're off to get some deep slate and hopefully some diamonds oh my gosh do you uh <laughs> that's not what i was looking for 
After this lava finally went away, the first thing I see down there is Skulk. So I think this might be a bit too advanced for us today. Let's see if we can find a safer spot. Okay, so that's for another day because I'm not in the mood to deal with deep dark at the moment, but I did grab a, just a ton of copper while we were gone. So I think I'm gonna get that started and then we're gonna go find another cave to explore was we just need some deep slate also want to empty out all these goodies that i picked up along the way so they're clogging up my inventory and i'm gonna need some room yes this is looking promising all right we've got a cave to explore let's go okay we have blackstone and skeletons yay skeletons not today. Okay. I got skeletons on both sides of me. Not good. Not good. Not good. Run away. Uh, okay. We'll be back. As I said, we're going to go strip mining for some deep slate and hopefully some diamonds. Let's go like a bit more of a tame cave. Maybe we can find something good in here. Not you. I want to find you. Alright, yes. This is what I'm looking for. Oh, there they are! Right there! Found some... Alright. First diamonds. Here we go. Is it how many are going to be there? It's probably just going to be the one, but that's fine. Oh, there's two. No, no, there's a third. All right, we got a pick, at least. I just need two more to make an enchanting table. Okay. And we're out. We made it out. No idea where we're at, but we made it out. And we made it out with... 27 diamonds and a whole bunch of blackstone. Some redstone, lapis, and gold. Awesome. Awesome. Okay, it's been a whole day in real life between the last clip and this one, and I have been farming a ton of materials to get this house started, or at least complete it, or you know what I mean, build the house. I don't know if that's I'm going to use all of that, or if some of those things need to be increased or whatnot, because I just kind of have an idea in my head. I don't do a whole lot of planning ahead of time in creative mode. I think it spoils the fun for me. To be completely honest, I like to be just as surprised as you guys but first there is a few things that i need from the nether to go with these things and now that we had a have a diamond pick or at least i was able to make a diamond pick with the diamonds we got i'm going to build a portal and we're going to head to the nether and hopefully find the things that we need let's go don't suck don't suck don't suck Oh, well, we don't have a problem finding soul soil. There's that. All right. I don't want to spend too much time out of here. Because of that noise right there. Yeah, I hear you. All right, just going to steal some of your soul soil. Okay, I've got what I needed. And now it's time to get out of here. And never come back. I hate this place. Okay, now I just need to start smelting this up and gather up the rest of what is needed. And then we can start building. I found a spot, but this is our spot. I think this make a good spot for our house. It's got a nice view out the back over here. I'm gonna get myself organized. I'm gonna get that land cleared out of all the, the grass and petals and then get our foundation laid out, and then we can finally build ourselves a house so I can get out of this little outdoor campsite. Let's go. Okay, and this is our footprint. And I like to do this in path blocks because you can erase it with a piece of dirt and just keep editing as you want to, but that's right there and you don't have to remove anything to start building so this little tip right there so the outside this is the outside footprint and then that little dotted line right there 
that shows where I want to dig down to create a little basement area underneath it so we can put storage and whatnot down that way. And then over here, I have my, uh, my pallet. And this is another tip. If you have a build pallet, set it out because then if it's in your inventory, you can just come over here and pick block it and then you can place it. And then if you need something else, you can go over here, grab it and place it. It just makes inventory management a whole lot easier. But we've got a mix of, I think I might throw some copper in there, but most of it's gonna be the deep slate tiles with the uh, cherry logs and some nether bricks. Also I got some regular deep slate, cobble deep slate and some bricks along with some wool. I think I'm gonna give these doors a go because they do fit with the theme of the area along with the different trap doors and whatnot. So, unfortunately, there's not going to be a time lapse for this because I'm still waiting on replay mod to update to the current version. So I'm just going to get started and I'll bring you guys on updates and progress reports as I remember to do so. Hopefully I don't forget, but I'll see you guys in just a little bit. I'm going to start digging. Well, don't judge it too hard. We're still in the awkward teenage phase, you know, where the voice is changing and they keep tripping over their feet and stuff, but it's coming along. This is just the bones of it. And I've got the base and the main living quarters all done. And I've used just about all of my black stone and I still need to do the roof. So I'll probably need to go back down the mines and get some more. But this is where we're at so far. So this is gonna be the entrance, a little patio here, and this is gonna be the main living area. And then down below, still have to figure out the, the stair situation. Down here somewhere is the basement. So that's where we're at right now. I need to keep trugging along and get uh, the walls in and then get ready for the roof and mine up some more black stone. So I'm gonna keep moving and I'll check in again once I get to another good, uh, good stopping point to show y'all. And there it is, our new house. Just finished it up, had to go back down and grab a bit more deep slate so I can finish up the roof, but it's pretty much done. I still need to do the landscaping and terraforming around here because some of these trees need to go. They're blocking a lot of the view and they're kind of in the way, but got a nice porch here. Still need to do some decorating and the interiors. I've started to do a little bit. Got a kitchen going. Might change that up a little. I'm still playing. Interiors are not my strong suit at all so if you guys have any suggestions be sure please please leave them in the comments i would love some suggestions on interiors and what i should do with this place here and then downstairs here we have our storage room so we can start getting organized and clean out our chest monsters that are sitting out there on the grass and i got a bunch of furnaces some smokers i was going to do some blast furnaces but i still got to get a couple things to do those those are expensive so i may not they're almost useless so i may not do that unless i find one in a village but i think it worked out pretty good we even got a back door i started to do a pond look at the color of the water in this biome the water is way too pretty to not use as a pond so i'm going to start decorating this up and i think next episode we're going to start exploring our world because i need to find some bamboo and i want to get some moss and other things that i think would really help bring this place together and bring some life into the world over here so that being said i think i've run out of time for today so appreciate you guys watching and if you like what you saw don't forget to leave a like and if you want to see more don't forget to subscribe till next time this has been neely bye bye